Well, Ben, if you are or if you know someone over the age of 60, they'll be able to get in free here on the midways of the Bent County Fairgrounds from 10 until noon today. Before we go to the video, I want to just show you around here this morning, show you all the preparation that has uh, gone on here to get things ready when the doors and gates open at 9 o'clock this morning. Right now, you're taking a look here at the main stage. This is where they'll have some live music uh, later today. Over here behind me, over here, you'll notice the Ferris wheel and all of the rides here. Look at the silhouette here of all those rides here uh, with the sunshine behind it looking very fun, very nice this morning. Take a look at your screen now. I want you to take a look at video from last year's fair. If you are not a senior, you can, of course, still pay to get in. And no matter what your age is, today you can get unlimited rides for only $20 on all those fun rides here this morning. The fair opens in just a few hours at 9. We're live here in Benton County. I'm John Paul, 4029 News. All right, John, sounds great. Regular admission, five bucks for everyone ages seven and over. You got those kiddos six and under. They are free. A man in Minnesota did something pretty cool for his 94th birthday. He decided he wanted to play hockey. Police officers and firefighters joined in on the yeah. fun with him. Some of them half his age. He still <laughs> works out and he is 94 years old playing with these guys. I played with uh, Sparky Charles Schultz for many years on the same line and it was really, uh, really something to, you know, to to have under your belt. If something happens, I got my EMT right on the ice with me. So how can you beat that, huh? That's a good way to look at it, right? He <laughs> says the only time he has not played was during World War II. Look at him. Push-ups. He's moving well He's on the incredible. ice. incredible. 94. 94. Good for him. All right. We well, may need to check twice before buying your favorite candy bar in Colorado. Officials there are planning to change the labels on edible marijuana so kids don't think it's candy for them. They want to add a symbol of a stop sign with the letters THC. Officials don't want or want to stop the deliberate misspellings of candy brands like Hershey's or Mars. Sounds like it's a problem there. Mm -hmm. And take a look at this video. A 133-year-old building in downtown St. Louis partially collapsing. The first few floors were occupied. No one was hurt, though. The St. Louis Fire Department is now looking into what caused this collapse. A deadly officer related shooting in California. A car chase suspect ended with that suspect being shot by police. Investigators say the driver led authorities on a seven mile chase and tried to carjack another vehicle before crashing his own car. The suspect uh, advanced towards the officers while holding a, a pistol in his hand. Uh, officers uh, then discharged their firearms, striking the, the, the suspect. Um, officers, uh, all of our patrol officers recently were issued uh, these uh, tra uh, trauma kits. Uh, officers began to attempt uh, life saving measures with the trauma kit uh, at the scene prior to the arrival of uh, paramedics. The police officers were hurt in that incident. It's, five, it's 619, rather, and more people have health insurance now than any other time in decades. The Obama administration says that less than 10% of Americans are uninsured. Government stats show that since 2013, nearly 16 million more people have insurance. Analysts say that drop is because of the Affordable Care Act's implementation and an improving economy. Students in one school district are headed back to school, and that means you can expect extra patrols on the streets. 4029's Pedro Rivera tells us what is happening today. The police department says it's all about safety. So if you're speeding in a school zone faster than what this sign says here, you can expect a ticket. There will be extra patrols around each school as students are back in class today. Police officers will be working school zones and enforcing speed limits. With school buses around, it's important to keep an eye out for kids crossing the roads as well. Later in the show, I'll tell you some traffic to expect. In South Saul, Pedro Rivera, 4029 News. Police Department recommends adding extra time to your morning commute if you plan on passing by a school zone. Uber is in some trouble in Hong Kong. Police raided one of the company's offices and arrested several drivers. They're charged with operating illegally and driving without an insurance. Without insurance, Uber also has faced legal challenges in other countries and the United States. Severe flooding in Argentina has killed at least three people. You can see in this video we have for you parts of the country well underwater. A state of emergency has been declared because of heavy rain that started a week ago. It's 621 and new this morning. The presidential candidates descend on Iowa. Among them, Hillary Clinton, who can't seem to get away from an evolving email scandal.
Nicole Killian is live in Washington with more on this controversy. Nicole. Hey, good morning to you, Ben. And more than a dozen of the presidential candidates will be making stops in Iowa this weekend uh, and the next couple of days, including Hillary Clinton, who is certainly trying to put this email scandal behind her. Clinton is expected to visit the Hawkeye State starting tomorrow as the Department of Justice ramps up its investigation into her personal email server. Now, Clinton has de denied any wrongdoing after an inspector general alleged at least two emails went through that server were highly classified. The State Department is pushing back on that, and so. Is the Clinton campaign, which fired off its own email and also has launched a web page dedicated to trying to reassure supporters. Clinton's Iowa poll numbers seem to be holding steady for now. A new CNN ORC poll gives her a double digit lead over Bernie Sanders, with 50% of Democratic caucus goers surveyed saying they'd support her. Live in Washington, Nicole Killian, 4029 News. All right, Nicole, thank you. And while Hillary Clinton will be in Iowa, she is currently not scheduled to speak. Uh, at the state fair in that area, which is a big deal there in Iowa. She's not the only one, too. Donald Trump plans to attend on Saturday, but for now, he isn't listed on the Des Moines Register's soapbox. Last month, the paper wrote an editorial urging Trump to drop out altogether. Trump responded by denying the paper press access to one of his events. President Obama and his family are enjoying a little downtime right now. They are spending 16 days at Martha's Vineyard. He was even spotted playing golf. The president is still working while he's away from the White House. He brought some of his top aides to keep him up to date. In the scoop here this morning, three top female stars are bringing in a lot of cash. Maria Sharapova, Serena Williams, and Carolyn Wozniacki are the top three highest paid female athletes. They're all tennis players, too. Sharapova made $29 million. She's been the top paid athlete now for the last 11 years. Williams is not far behind with $25 million. And look at this amazing view of a meteor shower over Britain. It is active between the months of July and August. We have video for you, just a little bit of the pictures. The peak will happen tonight, though. The meteor shower is made of particles released from a comet. One dating app is just a little bit upset with a magazine. Vanity Fair wrote an article about how apps like Tinder, which you just saw there a moment ago, may change dating and courtship. Tinder attacked the Vanity Fair uh, article on Twitter about its author and what it was what was written. Tinder says it's not true, which the article claimed that 30% of the users are married. The person who wrote the article responded by saying it was not about that app. It's 6:24 here. Forget Fido, forget Spot, forget Fluffy. All those have been done. Pet owners are getting much more creative with their pets here this year, their names at least. That's right. Nationwide Insurance provides coverage for pets, and each year the company has a contest that lets the public decide on which pet names are the wackiest, and the votes are in. And some of these are kind of weird. We have the top three wackiest dog names Baron Von Furry Pants, R2, Dog 2, Rosie Picklebottom. <laughs> And it just gets a little bit weirder. It's just too from long. There. This is just too long. I know. I, yeah, I'm, we like shorter names. I like the simple names. The simple names. Yeah. Keep them short, keep them sweet, keep them interesting. Well, exactly. this morning, if you're heading out onto the road, we do have uh, some traffic updates that we can give you here this morning. Uh, nothing really major on the road at this time in northwest Arkansas. Uh, just some very light morning traffic as you start to head out the door. Uh, the, and, that's, and that's really just going to be what you're going to be seeing throughout Bentonville, Rogers this morning. Again, nothing major at this time. Just that early morning traffic as people start to uh, get out onto the road. Asylum Springs even looking a little congested there this morning throughout all those stoplights. If you're off to the home office from Bella Vista, it's seven minutes. 23 minutes if you're coming from Springdale. And this morning, if you're going to Chaffee Crossing from Fort Smith at 16 minutes, looking at the River Valley, everything's looking very nice. That's the Get Ready Traffic. We'll have more coming up. And time right now is 625. Take a look at this gorgeous sunrise over Rogers and Embassy Suites camera. This is what it looks like at the county fair as well. Yeah, right out there, we've been out there covering the fair all live for you this week. People 60 and over get in for free. Also, kids 6 and under get in for free as well. Cubby should be able to get in. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. And what a great day to go today because it is not too hot. Mm -hmm. Some of us starting off in the 50s, 60s. Gorgeous. So chilly this morning for some of us, but a lot of us really like today. Yes, I love it. I'll take this weather every single day of the week. So let's hope it sticks around. Laura says next week's going to be just a little bit warmer. Stay with us. 626 here on your Thursday morning. Sunrise is back in just a moment.
you can plan ahead with the new 4029 Weather App. We're always updating the seven-day forecast with the latest weather models to get you ready for the week. You can download it for free today. Just search for 4029 in the Google Play or Apple App Store. Weekdays on 4029, have a little fun with Ellen at 4. Then it's 90 minutes of the best local and national news from 5 to 6.30. Plus, laugh out loud with Emmy Award-winning Modern Family at 6.30. It's every weekday on 4029. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sorry. Just before 6.30, here on your Thursday morning. And in today's top stories, a local hospital is getting new grant money. We'll tell you how much they're getting and how they plan to use it. The fair is in town, folks. 4029 is live with what you can check out today at the Benton County Fair. And a 160-mile-long yard sale kicks off this morning where you can go to take part in the deals. Most watched every weekday morning, this is 4029. Live, local, late breaking. This is 4029 News Sunrise. Good morning, everybody. Here on this Thursday morning, our top stories are just a few minutes away. But first, we're joined by 4029 meteorologist Laura Huckabee with a check of our get ready forecast. And Laura, it is starting off to be a very gorgeous morning. Mm hmm. Sunshine is beautiful, that's for sure. And the temperatures feel great. If you're waking up this morning in Eureka Springs, your early reading is 64. It's 61 in Clarksville, 62 in Poto. Right now in Mina, it's 63 degrees. As we get you up, get you ready, send you out the door, lots of folks taking advantage of the cooler temperatures, picking up a golf game. And if you're teaching, Time is 70, is it 9 o'clock? In northwest Arkansas, your temperature will be 75. If it's at 11 o'clock, the temperature will be up to 77. Meanwhile, if you wait till a little bit later in the day, your 3 o'clock temperature will be 86, and that will actually be your high. In the River Valley, it's been a very pleasant start to your day. Tea time at 7 o'clock will be 70 degrees. At 11 o'clock, it'll be 77. And later this afternoon in the River Valley, enjoy the sunshine. Your afternoon high will top out at 90 degrees. Have a great day. All right, Laura. Well, there is a lot going on today at the Benton County Fair. 4029's John Paul is live with us. And, John, what is happening today at the fair? 
You know, lots to see and do out here today at the Benton County Fairgrounds. Take a look behind me. You can see now that we have some daylight here at 630, the main stage all set up here. Lots of places for you to sit and enjoy some of the big shows. But over here to my right, look at the Midway. Look at all the rides here this morning. You'll have lots to see and do here with the uh, Ferris wheel over here behind me. They've got some other fun ones way in the back there, too, that I can't wait till they uh, turn the rides on so that I can get on. I want you to take a look here at your screen right now. This is some video from last year's fair. You can also expect to see live music here at the fair today. The gates open at 9 o'clock. For now, we're live here in Benton County. I'm John Paul, 4029 News. All right, John, uh, thank you so much. And the fair will be open until 10 o'clock tonight.